Today I'm going to be giving you all a Google Earth tour of Ha Long Bay, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, which for those of you who don't know, which included me until about 15 minutes ago, is a place that the United Nations has deemed to have some sort of scientific or uh, what's the word for it, like cultural, historical, scientific, or other form of significance. This area is about 2,000 islands, tiny islands, um, all around uh, this area, Ha Long, this Ha Long Bay area in Vietnam. So as you can see on the map right here, you can see how much, uh, how, how these little islands just start to go all over the place when you uh, get into Southeast Asia. But anyhow, right outside of Vietnam here, this is where you got some of the most beautiful islands in the world. People come from all over to check these things out. So we're gonna do that from Google Earth too. So as you can see, they got multiple 360s down here. So we're gonna kinda just get in here. They're a little bit hard to see because they're islands, but um, when you get into some of the, uh, go, go Google, go Google image search these. There's really good photography of these because people uh, go far and wide. If you're traveling through Asia, especially anywhere near Vietnam, definitely you should probably check this out. I hope I can check this out one day. So I'm gonna check this out. This 360 right here. Ooh, and this is a cave you can go see. Yeah, so apparently the way these islands were made was there was erosion that happened of limestone and then there was flooding. So these all these islands popping out of the water are just made of limestone as you can see that cave formation there's definitely a lot going on there let's go ahead and check out this 360 on this pier yeah so you there's a lot of tourism out here there's a lot of boat tours a lot of boat tours and so you can go out there's also some restaurants kind of around how long and then out here on the uh, main piers looks like and I think there's a floating one Floating water too, but yeah, you just uh, book one of these little boats right here. As you can see, here's the islands. Absolutely amazing looking. I think he's wearing a Leonardo DiCaprio movie. I forgot which one it was, but if you're a fan of Leonardo DiCaprio, you would uh, you probably know what I'm talking about because he's made a lot of movies, but he hasn't made too many movies to have caught what I'm talking about. I'll try to post that if I can remember. So let's get a view from a boat. As you can see how many boats are caught on imagery here. That's a lot of boats. That's just the amount of boats you got caught passing through whenever the satellites took pictures of this. It's just absolutely gorgeous. This is a 360 from the top of a ship like I said, but you can see just how many little islands there are out here. It's just absolutely crap ton. So let's get out here and let's go and look at a different area. Yeah, so here's one of the main little hubs outside. I think where all of the main tours go. And this road looks like it connects in to, to get everybody on the, on the boats and pass them out. So this seems like kind of the main highway here. So let's get a little bit more obscure. So here's one of the bigger islands. I don't think anybody, uh, you know, can come out here and, and have a have a house. Oh, look at this little in, interior lake here. That that looks pretty cool. So I don't know how far the tours will take you, but um, let's see what's over here. This is a. Uh, I don't even know how to say that, but let's just check the panorama out. This looks kind of like a little Vietnamese farm or something. I don't know. But just in the middle of these islands. Wow. Pretty cool. Very flat and open space for an island in my experience. I don't usually find that too much. But it's not that big of an area. This little, this little area right here is not, not too sizable. Uh, let's go over here. Wow, look at this. A lot of beach right here. Very cool on this inlet right here. There's probably some awesome fish in here. Um, let's do that again because I think I'm not catching the whole picture here. How big this is. Yeah, this 
this bigger island right here, and all these ones that branch off, I guess it's where all the land mass is. Let's go over here and look at one of these more obscure 360s. Vong Bean Island. This looks like where some of the, I think there's a restaurant down here, where those little uh, buildings are. Let's look at this. Yeah, I think this is it. This is the cool kid spot, I'm pretty sure. Look at all these little houseboats. I'm pretty sure you probably rent these. That's super cool. Look how shallow this is. There's just a guy over here in the water. Just standing up. So, wow. Really shallow. Alright, cool. Let's get out of here and see if we can get a, get a more scenic view. Because that's kind of what I'm looking for over here. There's a fisherman village. Let's see. Go hang out and get a fishing charter with some genuine Vietnam saltwater fishermen. That would be cool. As you can tell, this is a great place for photos. Because just look at the, just the crazy formation of these little islands. They stick out of the ground so high. And they got a lot of greenery on them. There's a lot of culture going on over here. And look at this. Just sheer rock face with all that green on it. Oh, look, and can't forget, can't forget your life vests, that's for sure. Yeah, I looked on uh, one of the travel guide websites and it said that there was, uh, in past years, there had been one or two ships that had actually sank doing tours out here, and um, one of them, about 12 people got killed, but since then, everybody's tried to uh, keep it as safe as possible, uh, because they know the tourists don't want to come out if you don't do that. Let's see this. Looks like there's a lot to see out here, so I don't know how long it'll take you to see it all. But if you take a cruise out here, I assume they have stops at uh, several of the places that you would want to go to. Probably including this one. Really nice. I wonder what these are for. If anybody knows, please comment. Ooh, wow, getting grainy. As you can tell, Google Earth doesn't exactly render islands properly because you got some height and you've got some flatness. Um, and it can be a little bit wobbly. A little bit more wobbly than, uh, than water is supposed to be. I don't think water slants like this, but I could be wrong. Let's see what this is. Oh, that looks pretty good. So, fun fact, how long means descending dragon. Apparently, there's some sort of Vietnamese folklore about some sort of dragon dropped down from the sky forever ago, and I don't know. Made these islands or something? I don't know. Look into it. This is a beautiful, beautiful sunset we're getting right here. And yep, here's all the boats with uh, all these cruise boats. I don't know how many people they can fit on these things, but looks like looks like there's a few. Looks like they got some cabins on there as well. Probably not that big, so here everything's pretty cramped when you travel in Asia. But yeah, so that's how long they. I'm glad I got to show you that. I hope you enjoyed it. Definitely download Google Earth Pro and get that you know, be able to view this stuff yourself because um, it's really neat to be able to check this stuff out and I will drop a link to the uh, download for Google Earth Pro in the description as well as any relevant links that I can find on Ha Long Bay. Uh, thanks for watching and like, comment, and subscribe and have a good one.